now let us see how we can measure the time see time means what time is the uh, gap between two instances the interval between two instances is known as time see the time can be measured by unit the smallest unit of time is second and its largest larger units are uh, minutes and hours minutes and hours are the largest larger units of time okay then uh, see uh, now we have some of the modern devices isn't it modern devices like uh, see one you can see in the wall clock a wall clock with pendulum is a modern device see the wrist watch the wall clock these are modern devices nowadays we are using see even uh, now we have see the digital clocks immediately we can know the time by using the digital clocks but in olden days in olden days or in ancient time some of the devices like sundial see now you can see in the picture a sundial uh, which is actually the picture of uh, jantar mantar situated in delhi which is actually a sundial by using the shadow the people were calculated the time those time okay so sundial and this is another type of sundial and these are see water clocks okay water clocks are used and see the sand clocks water clocks sand clocks and sundial are are, are some of the olden device or we can say that the ancient devices for measuring the time okay see uh, the time the unit of time is second as i already mentioned and it is denoted by the letter s and its larger units are minutes and its higher unit is hour and it is denoted by the letter h this minute and r are the larger units of time see i already discussed about uh, the calculation of speed okay speed can be measured by knowing the distance and time see, see from this equation see that it is speed is equal to distance divided by time distance the smaller unit is meter and time the smaller unit is uh, second therefore whenever you write the speed you have to mention the unit as meter per second that is m bar s meter per second and its higher units are meter per minute or it may be kilometer per hour if you are moving or if you are going for a larger uh, journey larger distance then we use kilometer per hour okay these are the units of speed once you know the speed then it is easy for us to calculate the distance and time from that equation itself okay if you know the value of speed and you know the time then we can calculate distance okay distance equal to speed into time and if you know the distance and speed then you can calculate time okay time is equal to distance divided by speed okay so these three formulas speed equal to distance divided by time distance equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance divided by speed these formulas you must you must be thorough with these three formulas okay now let us see the you might have seen in your vehicle in your bike in your car okay in your car in the dashboard you can see a speedometer what do you mean by speedometer see speedometer is a device which uh, which show the speed of a running vehicle or the speed of a moving object uh, can be understand by seeing the speedometer similarly along with the speedometer in the dashboard of a car or a vehicle you can see see this one this is called odometer what do you mean by odometer odometer is a device which shows the distance traveled or the distance covered by a object or by a vehicle okay if you are starting from one place to another place you note the starting point what is the kilometer shown once you start the vehicle note down it and after reaching your destination you note down the odometer reading again and if you subtract the odometer final odometer re reading from the initial odometer reading you can get the distance covered by you 
So, what is the use of odometer? Odometer is an instrument which show how much distance you have traveled or how much distance you have covered can be understand by looking at the odometer. Okay.